Cyber intimidation just 13 days before the election. Messages to some registered Democrats telling them they better vote for President Trump or else. Nearly 200 voters associated with the University of Florida received these threats via email, and people in at least three other states also got the same thing. The sender claims to be from the Proud Boys, a far-right organization that critics classify as a hate group. Now, News 4 Jax has confirmed the FBI, the FBI has been made aware of local investigations of these threats. In the meantime, Duval County early voting is in its third day, and I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci is joining us with more on these threats from the Pablo Creek voting location. Vic? And Tom, behind me, there is a long line of people coming and going to cast their ballots early, and they say they want to do it without any interference. But a group of people in Alachua County had emails just like this one threatening them, and those emails tell them that they need to change their party affiliation, also change who they are voting for, or else they could be exposed and possibly even worse. It came as an email, subject, vote for Trump or else. They said if I didn't vote Trump, they would come after me and that they have all of my information, my email, phone number, address. This University of Florida student who asked us to conceal her identity is one of at least 183 linked to the school to get that threat. Coming from the email info at proudboysofficial.com. The target, registered Democrats. Some messages list their correct addresses, saying, we will know which candidate you voted for. I would take this seriously if I were you. Reaching out to people like that under the Proud Boys name in any capacity is kind of scary considering like the group's history. The Proud Boys are a far-right political sect designated by the SCLC as a hate group. But the leader claims the suspicious emails are not from them. And IP addresses come back to Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Estonia. Even though I knew it was fake after I finished reading it, it was still very concerning. The Alachua County Sheriff's Office forwarded the threats to the FBI, where special agents are investigating election-related crimes. This is something we don't see going away in the near future. Just yesterday, we spoke with the FBI Jacksonville supervisor in charge of elections crimes. He cannot comment specifically on this case, but says attacks on democracy are prevalent. It's changed since 2016 to, to 2020. We've had a lot of factors, uh, foreign influence that has gone into it, obviously. This student tells us while she is unnerved, it won't stop her from voting for her picks. And she hopes others don't fall for this scam. I just hope that people still go out and vote for who they want. Um, I'm going to vote tomorrow and I'm not going to let it stop me. Okay, and we've done some research. This is not just happening in Alachua County. We have found out that there are reports of very similar emails in South Florida, as well as Pennsylvania, Arizona, and Alaska. But here in Duval County, I spoke with the Assistant Supervisor of Elections, and he says no reports here. I also spoke with the Supervisor of Elections in St. John's County. She said so far they have not heard of any of their voters getting these emails. We're live in San Pablo, Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, does this student know where the person who sent that email got her information? She doesn't, Tom, and she says she's very cognizant of what information she puts online. But voter records are public records, so they are accessible by anyone. That will tell you your name, a lot of times your address, potentially your phone number, and your party affiliation. However, those records will not tell the public who you voted for. Vic Michalucci reporting to us live. Thank you, Vic.